bit of a weekly update. Um, I've got to be honest, I wasn't going to bother this week. Not a lot's been going on, but I thought, you know what, I'll do a little bit of an update just before I head off to bed. Uh, probably the most exciting thing is I've got a new light. As you can see, the lighting's a bit better. Um, I was in Aldi yesterday getting water because uh, if you're in this region, be aware there was a problem with the reservoirs overfilling and they got um, some pollutants in it of some description. I wasn't here at the time. It's just April warned me because it was on the news, which is why we're on bottled water at the minute. Um, but basically, there was, there was something in the reservoir, uh, so we were on bottled water. Um, and it was sort of bizarre because there was a police car and then there's a guy that's begging. There's always guys, African guys, um, outside the Aldis generally, uh, begging. And it looks like the police had actually took him in there and bought him some shopping before wherever they took him. Um, I doubt they're going to arrest him or whatever. More a case of move him on somewhere else, but actually went and bought him some food and stuff before they did so, which I thought, you know what? At least they made an effort. They got rid of the guy at the same time, helped him from what I could see. It wasn't a big baton bashing moment or it's illegal to be here, which is some of the crap I see on Facebook. Um, yeah, it's, it's a difficult one. I mean, the guys are trying to head to the West for a better life, but I think a lot of them, pardon the pun, have missed the boat. A lot of the... Europeans aren't as friendly as they used to be. They're getting a bit tired of it because uh, the floodgates have just keep open and more keep coming. It's not; it never stops. Uh, my personal opinion on it is the West has got its hands in the problems that these countries that they're coming from are in. So it, it makes it very difficult to sort these things out because if you try and help, you're then seen as a uh, imperialist or something else. So not an easy easy one to solve. But it was just an interesting one. But went in for water and come out with a, a lamp, which is a, I don't want to pull it over, but it's it's a long strip light that arc, arcs over the desk, but doesn't take up a lot of room. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, there's a few people come be, contacted me about uh, PV in the Philippines and his demise. Um as I said to them, he says, I don't think it's, I don't think he would have. Um, you know, that, and he's, he's cropped up somewhere alive and well, which I expected. Um, I'll be honest with you, he's one of those people that would actually spread a rumor about himself just to get noticed in the same way there's people backwards and forwards with him arguing. I, I just can't be bothered with it. And that goes back to the last video. I can't be bothered with the politics. The last document we need to sort out the trip for April's mother is finally nearly there. We actually found a document today that actually had the code on we've been looking for. So we April's been busy with the people we know. Um, that's basically now going to be able to get it processed Monday and probably got that Tuesday. And then that's ready to go to the Spanish, well, Tuesday. Then I've got to go to the foreigner's office and get a, what the, it's a letter of invite, but it's not like you write um, a document uh, like, dear Mr. Ambassador, I would like my mother-in-law to visit. It's it's more of a fixed statement. You They charge you for it. They tell you what information they want. And then they decide. There's no you, me, are you inviting this person, blah, blah, blah. It's a very strict form layout with specific information they want and criteria. Um, so this was the last piece of the jigsaw. So it's messed it up because April's mother's appointment was due, um, I think, this week. And that's now been moved further. I'm not sure if it's even going to be able to get it done this month. Uh, April's re rescheduled and rebooked it, but uh, it's annoying because if we'd found this two weeks ago, it would all have been done. But hey ho, we live and learn. Well, the thing is, we've made a new friend as well. Well, it's one of April's friends, but we uh, it's, the, it's the mother of a famous um, Filipino boxer, which is quite bizarre because we just went and seen him about something else, and then we discovered the whole thing about him being a. Uh, boxing champion and 
Yeah, this was nice. This is a, this is the thing with networking. Um, then another thing this week, another networking rather randomly. Um, my son's best friend, um, his mother lives a bit further away from us, and she walked to pick her son up. I didn't realize she walks that far, but she normally walks, and it was raining uh, on Friday, so and she was running late because she'd had some other stuff. So she asked if we could give her a lift. Now, she's a very quiet woman. She doesn't ask for nothing, even though she should. Um, so she was like, oh, you know, it's like... Uh, you know, don't want to ask, but I just blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, I don't worry about it. And so I picked her up, took her to the school. The kids were all happy. And on the way back, I found out that she's an official translator that deals with legal services. She goes to court. She does it with a guardian, does it with um, the, well, police local, the courts. I've now got somebody in this area that's a professional translator. Because uh, I've been a translator, but you go into s something serious, they've got to be up to a legal standard, which she is because she's been in Spain. So I think she said 21. So she's been, in, been here a few years. Um, I'm not giving the lady's age away, but um, she's fluent in Spanish. And I mean, her son speaks flu fluent in Spanish and English. It's quite funny when they, her son tells tells her to speak to me in English. She goes, oh, Wilhelm's English. Well, Wilhelm's English. But my son speaks fluent Spanish. They speak fluent Spanish to each other. But then it's like, oh, no, no, no. It's, you know, it, it's just funny. It's just funny. But uh, that's, that's the way the networks work. That's why it's always worth putting yourself out there because you, you end up with different people that can help you and you can help them. It's a bit like with Eagle with construction and stuff. We've got um, Andreas has moved into construction but does all the legal services. Um, April does the... NIEs and legal processing for administration purposes, but with a translator, you've now got somebody who can officially notary um, deal with documentation as well, uh, which brings in a group of people together that can assist each other, um, which is good. Lots of good people that help each other. That's, that's, that's what I like. Um, my crypto stuff doing pretty well on that as well this week. It's still a good week. Probably noticed the Bitcoin's on the rise. That's good. I made some money yesterday before I just cashed out. And I've just moved some more money over to do some more Bitcoin. I'm expecting it to go up in price again. So that's doing quite good. Um, it's quite funny we read the media about how it's all a bubble and it's all going to burst. Bitcoin can't be in a bubble. ICOs can be in a bubble. But ICOs are businesses. Um, that's like, you could have something like the internet bubble. You can have a American online or that in a bubble, overpriced businesses. But it would be the equivalent of saying a dollar is in a bubble. A dollar cannot be in a bubble. Bitcoin is not in a bubble. What it, what it has is like market retractions and market advances, but at the same time, it doesn't have to give any dividends. It's not generating a revenue. It is... A currency. Uh, th that's the thing. And that's where a lot of people get confused. And the media obviously don't do enough due diligence to understand what they're talking about sometimes. Because it can't actually do it. Because it, it's not generating a... It's got no expenses. It's got no... Um, nobody it needs to pay. As such, it's a currency. But the thing is, it does have some anti-inflation things built into it. Um, but obviously it's getting traded like you would with Forex. So that's where you get market fluctuations. But ultimately, it can't be in a bubble. Um, so what else has been going on recently? I think that's about it. I mean, the car's running well. Um, we would have had another video from Spain this week, but quite simply, it's been raining. While the UK's been suffering with snow, we, we've had a bit of rain. Um, so that sort of slowed us down this week, so we haven't been anywhere, but it's given us time to sort other bits and pieces out anyway, so I'm not grumbling. Um, I'm looking forward to getting the trip back to the Philippines, picking April's mother up, um, bringing her back over here, and getting her to tour some of Spain. So I need to generate some extra revenue for that, a little run rounds, not only while I'm back in the Philippines, but 
touring April's mother around Spain because while she's over, I'll make sure she has a good trip. Um, but that's it for this week. Nothing too exciting. It's just life. Um, if you want me to put these on a the live show, let us know because I'll put them on a Friday. That's no, I won't. I'll put them on a Saturday. Um, probably around this time. No, I won't. It'll be earlier than this. Uh, we're a bit later today because we actually went out to a restaurant. We we seem to be made Friday night. It's a, a Saturday night, sorry, uh, for a restaurant. Gets the kids out of the house, gives April a, a break from cooking. At the same time, it's a nice curry night as well. Anyway, take it easy. It's